Hey gang, Scott Davenport here. So this vlog is about some studio rearrangement and it's driven by two things. Number one, I wanted to get some better video quality for the videos. And number two, I just needed to clean up. So let me talk about the uh, the video quality first. That's probably a little more interesting. So. I've been using a Logitech webcam and that's been working fine and it was nice because it would just pipe right in through a USB port. Very easy to snap into the software I'm using to record many of my videos, which is called a screen flow, because it'll capture the screen, it'll capture in-feed from a camera, it captures audio. But I wanted to get a crisper video feed. So I've had this A6000 sitting around that I was occasionally using, starting to use it more for B-roll when I'm out in the field. So I got a little tiny, you know, pancake type 16 millimeter lens. Works great. So you can just kind of hold it out at arm's length and I'm in the scene. It's like, well, why don't I start using that in the studio too? So that's what I'm talking to now. Now, if anyone else has ever taken a, a camera and decided, you know, it's got an HDMI output. How can I, you know, connect that to my HDMI screen or capture, you know, video from it? you need a little bit more work. You need a piece of hardware. And uh, there is this these devices that will convert the HDMI signal into USB. That's what I wanted to be able to have it seamlessly snap into any application that will use a webcam. And I settled on a device from, it's either Aja or Aha. I'm not sure if it's a Spanish pronunciation or a English American pronunciation. They have a device called a UTAP. They have one for SDI, I have the one for HDMI. And it's great. It's very small, very lightweight, doesn't require any setup in the machine. It's really plug and play. It works fantastically. Now, the other challenge that I had, uh, there's twofold. This actually, some of this is camera related and some of this is studio physical change related, is audio. So I'm still talking into the MXL microphone. I really like the mic. It gives me a really good sound. Uh, I w wished I could have gotten rid of this boom stand. I was hoping to tap audio directly through the A6000. Couple of problems with that. Number one, it doesn't have an audio in jack. That's just not on the camera. And it's an expensive proposition for me to go buy a new camera body purely for an audio input jack. So I tried a hot shoe microphone, which has, it works. I, I use it in the field and it works fine. But that also doesn't have an audio input, so I can't connect like a lav mic to it. Tried other things with the lav mic going directly into the computer, and at the end of it, the, the quality of the sound just was not as good as the microphone that I'm using. And you've gotten used to that sound, I've gotten used to that sound, and I'm not willing to go take a step backwards. So maybe one remaining change is to do something with this boom so I have more space to you know move my hands or show a camera or something else like that. Now the second audio challenge, was related to the cleanup. So my desk looks pretty clean from what you see, what you don't see, which is like right beneath the cameras, was a whole bunch of different stuff. And I'm not even gonna show photos of it because it was ugly. Tons of things on the floor behind me. So I went and finally broke down, bought some shelves, set those up just to get things off the floor. And that meant I needed to move the desk forward by, I don't know, maybe a foot? And that really changed the acoustics of this room. And uh, it took, several iterations to you know dial in new settings when I'm processing the audio for a video and also uh, I have these uh, blankets on these like moving blankets that are on top of uh, the garment rack so I can move them around and create something to absorb some of the noise and cut down on the echo because there's you know, a lot of hard surfaces hard floor the walls etc so um, that was an adventure as well which it was an unintended uh, consequence of just moving a desk by a foot. So that became an interesting story in and of itself. Uh, that's um, that's about it, really. I don't have a whole lot else to uh, to say uh, about this, but if you notice that you know you see a little more of uh, the wall and the photos behind me, it's because I'm talking to a, a new camera, uh, at least you know new for the webcam, and a better lens, and hopefully this is translating to, to better video. I don't have any problems with focus. The A6000 is gonna do a better job focusing than the webcam did. I taught it about my face. It knows if I move around, it could probably follow me. Hopefully I'm in focus there. And uh, if, it, if I'm not in focus, well then I got more work to do. That's all I had to say in this video. I hope this uh, was enjoyable to you if you're thinking about doing any type of webcam work. You got questions about any of the setup, go ahead and hit me up and uh, I'll be happy to answer anything I can for you. See you next time, gang. Bye.